um, okay so there is this framework which I find uh, really interesting it's called happy jazz so you can compare it to express it's basically an abstraction layer uh, on top of the node.js API which makes it uh, very easy to create RESTful APIs with it so I'll put a link in the description for these two articles this one and this one uh, you can read them if you want and uh, I'll be using typeorm with happyjs uh, if you know if you don't know that it's this one it's very nice ORM and I'll be using TypeScript so in this video I will just set up the environment a lot of uh, the dependencies npm dependencies so let's just start so I will go to the desktop and I will create a directory called uh, test for example go to test and just type npm init dash y and this now uh, allows us to install packages so you can just start npm and install the package you want so just like express you need to install happy js uh, with npm and import it and then run it but since we are using typescript it will be a little bit different so let me just walk you walk you uh, through that and yeah so basically these are the packages that i will install so these are the dependencies so first thing install uh, happy at happy uh, for slash happy and this package the colors is just a way to color our uh, strings when we log them into the console and this to add emojis to the see um, the, to the console these you don't need to install these but uh, i added them just to make things a little bit more interesting and these three are required for type rm so the reflect metadata you need to import it there uh, before you use type rm i have some videos about type rm in the channel if you if you are interested and um, i'll be using sqlite but everything i do will work fine in any relational database so and even if there is a small change i will mention that and type rm itself and since we are using typescript we need to install the types for these packages so this is the types for the colors for happy itself this is important uh, for node and the node emoji and typescript itself all of these as uh, dev dependencies and this one uh, is really important is the ts node dev uh, which is this package uh, i will put these commands in the description but remember you can go to the repository also there is a link in the description and look at the package.json to see these and uh, what the versions are so uh, this ts node dev allows us to uh, run and um, watch our code so any, any change we mo we do at uh, so, sorry any change we do on our typescript code this package will recompile the code and run it so we don't need to stop and restart the server each time which is very nice so yeah i already did that i already installed all of these and i have i have this opened in here so this is the package.json so this is the dependencies and this is the div dependencies just like i showed you here so let me remove this and this is the agenda for these series hopefully i can uh, complete them so now that we are here so install uh, yeah installation and hello world of typescript then we will create the models they are called entities in type rm now then we will fake the data so we can uh, see how we can uh, yeah we just we will just fake the data so we can uh, like play with the API, the RESTful API. Then we'll create the CRUD routes. CRUD stands for create, read, update, delete. These are uh, common things. And this is really important part is the authentication and the authorization. I will use uh, JWT token. And I will try to implement complex queries. So in NestJS, for example, you can uh, in the URL uh, tell the API to join the data together to uh, query the to filter and the query the tables and the rows which is very interesting 
uh, they ca you can create some really complex queries just by adding the adding some query parameters here and we'll use some packages for that and for the entities I will try to define all kind of relations so many to many one to many uh, one to one and I'll show you how we can use them um, maybe I will use the events and the subscribers in typeorm so yeah I'll try to make things interesting so let's just start uh, but before I write any code to run our uh, TypeScript we need to go into the package.js and then inside the scripts this one is by default the test I, w I will leave it like this for now maybe I will do it but I will do some tests but for now just leave it like this but here in that this this won't be added in your case so you need to add that ts node dev which is the name of this package we installed and just map it to this uh, to its name and this basic this is basically when we type uh, npm run which is a command to run one of these scripts we will give it this name which is an alias to this package you can name it anything you want but I'll name it the same thing so npm node and then give it the name for file this will use the uh, package from node modules and run it so you don't need to install it globally which is nice okay so let's create our index the typescript and let me show you how we can import happy.js using typescript so in the manual if you look or in the docs if you look they import it like this but since we are using the ESX modules so and I already installed the types so add types happy so we can import it in a more modern way like this so import start so import everything as a happy from happy at happy at happy for slash happy so yeah and this is I made this a capital case because I believe this is a constructor function so this is why I made it a capital, ca a capital case and yeah and then I'll port a couple of types from also happy happy uh, like this uh, from happy itself which is the server and the response toolkit and the request so that it, yeah I will just I will just uh, show you an example but the request in happy is a little bit different from the request in uh, express uh, in express if you want to access the body you need to install the body parser and give it a json type uh, here they did this um, for us by default from an, i believe in the background so yeah and i will import the colors package we added so this i think i really like this package I will put a link in the description for it because it's uh, it's changing the prototype for each string so now any, any string inside our application will have some pro new uh, properties like for example uh, green so this is now will color this string which is very nice uh, other libraries uh, gives you a functions which I don't like so your code will be like this uh, but yeah anyway okay uh, Maybe I can import now a function from the node emoji module. So the get function. Okay. So now I'll define an init function, which is an asynchronous function. So most of the functions in HappyJS are promise based. So we will use promise and the sync await a lot. And this function will basically just to create the server. This is will be the type of server, this type. It will be equal to happy dot server, and this accepts uh, options. So the first one is the port, which is three thousand, and the host, which is local uh, host, since we are using our local machine. Okay, now to run this server, you just put server.start and this should run it this returns also a promise so let's await that you don't need to but let's just await it and let me put like uh, 
we can just subscribe to the server when it's started I think we can just do that in the then so console it's not we did not sub we did not subscribe to anything but yeah we just we will just uh, look some string with the server started so started maybe dot the green now let's run the command I was talking about so npm run ts no dev index to typescript so nothing happened because we did not call init post is not allowed yes because this should be port not post okay yes we see this uh, started which means everything is fine and it's green colored uh, another way we can just uh, look it here we don't need to put it in there since if this line got reached everything is fine and what I can do is I will use the get function from the node emoji and I get I will get the uh, rocket emo emoji you know, why not and now I will use the backstick this is the character in next to the one key keyword yeah it's next to the one key in, the, in your keyboard so I'll put server um, running on now I can get the URI for the server from the server object dot info dot URI this is one also one of the benefits we using we are using TypeScript so so our text editor can help us and I will color this as a green and also I will get the rocket here again I don't need to actually stop this so yeah I mean a lot of frameworks are using these kind of things so I thought it would be a cool idea to show you how we can do it and how we can change the colors in the CMD you can do them without these packages but it's not that um, straightforward and another cool thing we can do is to, def to put a, a global error handler on the process itself so process dot on uh, unhalted rejection so any error that that does any error that we did not catch will be handled by this callback Oops. yes by this callback so this is error and just console log or console error and error the error itself and process to exit okay uh, yeah this uh, this is a notification from the ts node diff um, I think one thing I need to show you is how to define routes so server to route and this is why I imported these two types and this is how we define route you might add uh, an array of routes here which is this is what we'll eventually do we will just pass an array of routes and uh, yeah just like this but for now let me define an object which will have the method so this is get uh, the path so this is the default path the forward slash and the handler which this this is like uh, a function that will be executed on this path with this method with this HTTP method um, so request of type request uh, they are calling this variable as h in the documentation but I will get to it but this the type of this is the response toolkit and uh, the third argument is the error which is con which might be there I will also get to that and this is of the error type and this is built in in JavaScript and you can just return an object that contains a um, message hello world 
so this would be parsed and retained as JSON by default which is nice so let's go to localhost 3000 nothing because there's an error um, yeah I think I think we exited because I saved when there is no handler so this broke but yeah we exited because of this so now we should see a message hello world and this is a really cool thing even if you retain a string so it won't fail so it will just retain the string itself which is nice so this is uh, a little bit smart behavior so yeah so I think this is is this is it uh, this is the basics these these are the basics and what we can do for the next episode of the next uh, videos I'm really tired so uh, first thing we can define a, a, a folder called routes and another folder called entities and yeah so basically I will put our type or end definitions inside our entities and our routes will be here these objects and we will have also maybe I would call them controllers so of another folder called controllers and my controllers will be functional so I want to use a classes in this and at the end all this init function will do it will just put an array of routes here and call the init on the database and that's it so this should be like very few lines here and uh, yeah so yeah I think that's it so hopefully this was helpful in any way and in any way um, yeah